Good morning. My name is Rafael Espinal, and I'm the chair of the Consumer Affairs Committee. Today, the committee will be holding a vote on intro 1648A, a local law to amend the administrative code of the City of New York in relation to establishing an office of nightlife, creating the position of the director of nightlife, or as I like to call it, the Don. <laughs> we couldn't get the nightmare title, <laughs> but the Don works, and a nightlife advisory board. For so long, New York City's nightlife has been an integral part of our city's cultural identity and experience. From the Harlem Jazz Renaissance to the beginnings of rap in the Boogie Down Bronx, to the days of Studio 54, and most recently, the rebirth of rock and roll in the early 2000s that was sparked in the Lower East Side in Brooklyn. New York has been the place where artists, music, and culture thrived. But New York City's Pulse is telling us that our iconic nightlife is at risk of becoming homogenized, uninteresting, and uninspiring. Overregulation and red tape has played a role in creating shuttered storefronts and continues to threaten your favorite restaurant, your favorite bar, and your favorite music venue. Most recently, enforcement has been particularly harsh for certain cultural spaces, aka DIY venues. The city has assisted in the closing of those many spaces responsible for creating and showcasing a lot of our modern artists and upkeeping our city's grit. This bill will allow for the city to finally recognize those spaces and bring them out of the shadows which is what has been one of the major motivating factors for me to introduce this bill. Nightlife is also a $10 billion industry, employing thousands of New Yorkers, yet for so long it has been kept in the bureaucratic shadows. There has been little to no support for this sector of our economy that is so vital to the unique culture of our city. We saddle these businesses with onerous permitting and licensing processes, giving them little advice on how to be in compliance or how they can be better neighbors and then, when things inevitably, inevitably go wrong, we find them and force them out of business. It is time we begin to put value and foster this industry. Intro 1648A will go a long way to end the ambiguous and often adversarial relationship nightlife establishments and venues have with the city and its communities, and it will, be, and it will breathe life back into the perception that New York City is truly a culturally, culturally vibrant place. I have to add, that this bill will ensure that our residential communities and community boards will be a key component of the conversation. Another goal of this office and its advisory board is to find solutions through policy and recommendations for issues and concerns communities have with nightlife establishments. This office will be a place where communities can go if they have concerns over particular, space, particular spaces and are themselves looking for resources for recourse. The director of nightlife can at once be an advocate and also liaison, building bridges and mending strained relationships. This model has worked in other cities around the world, like Amsterdam, where the office of the night mayor was established three years ago. Their office has been able to decrease nightlife-related noise complaints and crime by 25 to 30 percent and increase the quality of their establishments. Even more importantly, helped build a more positive relationship between the city, businesses, and the community. In conjunction with the office and the Don, there will be the creation of an independent advisory board made up of 12 members, eight appointed by the council and four by the mayor. The board will consist of members of the public that are advocates for the industry, the community, workers, and cultural spaces. Tasked with communicating with the administration and communities, study nightlife trends and issues, and producing a report highlighting policy ideas to improve our city's nightlife ecosystem. The board will ensure that nightlife issues are looked at in a fair and balanced way and that a diverse group of people is bringing all stakeholders' experiences and needs to the table. This is just a summary of a long list of things I hope this will accomplish, which will affect business owners, workers, tourists, all communities, and all New Yorkers alike. New York City is both the city that never sleeps. New York City is both the city that never sleeps and a city to more than 8 million people deserving of a good quality of life. Intro 1648A is a step in the right direction in recognizing the importance of our nightlife and something I'm very proud to have sponsored. I want to thank everyone who put, it in the, who put in the long hours to make this a reality. The Speaker's Chief of Staff, Ramon Martinez, our lawyers in the, leg in the Legislative Division, Rob Newman, Rachel Cordero, and of course my committee staff, Balkis and Izzy. Also a big thank you to all the advocates, business owners, and community members who weighed in on the topic. Before I move forward, I just want to recognize uh, my colleagues from Queens. Thanks for being here today. We have Karen Kozlowitz and Rory Lansman. Uh, I recommend an, an enthusiastic yes vote. Mr. Clerk, please Please call the roll. <clears throat> William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, committee on consumer affairs, introduction 1648A, Chair Espinal. I vote aye. Kozlowitz. 
There's a song I love. Bye, boat eye. <laughs> Lanceman. My vote of three in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions item has been adopted by the committee. With that said, this meeting has been adjourned. Uh, we hope to have this bill on the council floor on uh, August 24th. Thank you.